Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can create accordion using HTML, CSS, and also a little bit of JavaScript. So here is a demo of this one project. So I'm gonna refer that I am able to see the default accordion title and also content has been appeared inside my page. When I click another accordion, then my previous accordion has been hidden now, right? So you can use that inside your website. So I'm going to teach you how you can create that. So I'm going to close that and open my code editor. Inside my code editor, I have three files, index.html, style.css, and main.js. So I already included the style.css and also main.js file. So we need to work on the coding, but before working on the practically write the course, I'm going to show you how you can add the Google fonts and also we need to get the uh, CDN font away some CDN font away some or you can write CDN font away some inside the search engine then you need to get this one file right copied it and include inside your CSS I mean uh, index.html file once you do that, then you need to get the Google Fonts. If you want to use, I'm going to use Google Fonts. So I already selected the Roboto. So I import that so, and go to style.css based on there, right? So let's get start to work on the accordion. So the first thing I'm going to use short screen so open that on the live server so we will able to see everything all right so first thing i'm going to write the container create a div assign the class container write the h1 and assign the class heading i'm going to use frequently asked questions right and then I'm going to call that day assign the class accordion wrapper. Then I'm going to create another day assign the class accordion. Inside the accordion, I'm going to create again day assign the class accordion heading. Inside the heading, I'm going to use h3 call web designing then i'm going to add the font away some icon so call fas fa angle down right then i'm going to add the after this one so this is the heading section after the heading section i'm going to create a again div uh, not to do i'm going to use paragraph tag because i will use the Accordion content, right? So inside there, I'm going to use Lorem text. So we are able to see inside the browser have a arrow sign, heading tag. I mean heading text and also paragraph text have been appeared inside my page. Then the next thing you need to do, you need to uh, get this one called, right? and paste second time, third time, fourth, five, six. So we will change the, what? Headings, if you want to change that, you can do that. In my case, I'm gonna use that. Web development, app development, and digital marketing, then I'm going to use graphics designing and I'm going to check that I use okay then I'm going to use game development so I think everything is perfect right now so everything is perfect on the page then we will work on the CSS to manage the page or manage the content right so let's get work on the style.css 
the first thing I'm going to use font family will be roboto comma sans serif and then I'm going to use margin will be zero padding will be zero and also I'm going to use outline will be none also border will be none this is a default setting I'm going to use that then I'm going to add the body tag and change the background color will be light gray right then I select the container inside the container I have everything so I'm going to show you this one so inside there I'm going to use max width 700 pixel margin top and bottom will be 20 pixel left and right will be auto I want to display the content in the center so as you can see once you add the margin left and right auto then you are able to see the text has been or content has been appeared inside the center of the page then the next thing I'm going to select the container inside the container I have a heading class I'm going to show you this one right so I think yes so inside the heading I'm going to use the text align will be center and font size I'm going to use 30 pixel padding all side will be 20 pixel and also I'm going to add the margin bottom to make a space inside our top of this section then the next thing I'm going to select the container and accordion wrapper right inside the container have accordion wrapper so select the container dot accordion wrapper and inside the accordion wrapper I'm going to use fading all side top and bottom zero left and right I'm going to use 20 pixel right so first time save that then I select again container inside the container have another class accordion I'm going to show you this one so you need to select that and inside there you need to call the margin bottom 20 pixel to make a space and I'm going to use cursor pointer to display the pointer cursor on the page right so I think everything is perfect let's uh, target the container and accordion heading I think so let's see yes this one section so you need to select that and call display flex align item will be center justify content will be space between first time we save that right and I want to make a space so I use keep and pixel and I'm going to use background will be FFF means white I'm going to use border 2 pixel solid and this is dark color of the right but I want to uh, I think okay I'm going to use fading top and bottom will be 15 pixel left and right will be 20 pixel to make a space Y so let's target the h3 tag just a minute I'm going to show you the h3 this one tag so the h3 I'm going to change the font size will be 20 pixel so so perfect the last thing I'm going to add that container accordion um, content I think first we need to check that yes accordion content we need to select that so inside there you need to use padding top and bottom will be 15 pixel and left and right 20 pixel I'm gonna use border will be 2 pixels solid this is a dark gray font size will be 15 pixel background will be white and border top First, I'm going to show you surface, but I want to remove this one border, right? So I'm going to use the border tab zero, right? And display. First, I'm going to display none. This time, I'm going to remove this one section because I will use a JS 
I mean JavaScript to manage that. So let's get start to work on the JS. In the JS, I'm going to create a variable by the name accordion, and I'm going to call document query query selector all. And inside there, I'm going to select the accordion wrapper dot and inside there have another class like accordion right once you select that once you get the value and assign the value inside the accordion variable then we will use accordion variable accordion I'm gonna use s accordion is best then I'm gonna use for each loop and inside there I'm gonna call create a variable or uh, you can use any text as you want inside there and then I'm gonna call just a minute I'm gonna this is for each I call parenthesis and call a car and call the function curly brackets right uh, just a minute just a minute guys after this one I need to use right so we will use this one text inside there to perform the operation like on click or change the text or display the text so I'm gonna select the occur dot on click and then I'm gonna call the accordions this one variable and I'm gonna add the not this one just a minute I call just a minute guys mm, okay I use a call dot class list dot add and I'm gonna write the text like this one I will create a this one class inside my page I'm gonna show you in a minute first I'm gonna use terminator sign so the first thing I'm gonna copy this one active class and go to style.css right and just a minute in the style.css mm, just accordion heading um, I'm gonna select the container right and say the container have a accordion then I'm gonna use the class name like active that I have used inside the JavaScript right then I call accordion heading class like this one when I, I will click on the accordion button or accordion title then I want to change the background color so I use the 3e5 7d0 and I'm gonna use color will be white so first I'm gonna have that and let's see okay I can't see the changing on this one page I don't know why okay I think we need to use this yes as you can see guys so this is the default when I click on any heading I'm able to see the text are changed now and also icons so we will use this one section or this one active class to manage the accordion right so let's get work on another section so I, I select container and call accordion dot active class when the class is active then I call the accordion heading and inside there I have a I take means this one icon so I change the color first I'm gonna use FFF and I'm gonna rotate that with the help of transform call rotate 180 degree right as so I'm gonna save that and let's see right this is the default when I click that as you can see right then the next thing is 
I'm going to select the what? Complete container, class active, just turn it. Then I select the accordion content. Inside there I have a display none, so we need to use display block. That's it. Right, as you can see. Right. But we need to manage it, right? So I will use simple transition. Mm, just a minute, I'm gonna check that where I will use transition. Right now I'm gonna use transition. Um, transform 0 0.2 second and 0 0.1 second. Say so there, sir, and I think I need to use keyframe, keyframe animate. Okay, first I'm going to check that where I have used the animate. Mm. I think we need to use animation inside my content this one section so I call animate animation right so animation and call animate 0 0.2 seconds right mm. Line backwards line height I'm gonna use two and also I'm gonna use transform origin will be top then I call this one animate inside there inside the keyframe to manage the transition so inside that I use curly brackets first I'm gonna say that uh, just a minute this is a keyframe and I'm gonna call zero percent curly brackets. I'm gonna use transform scale y, and this will be zero. So cell right have a transition, but we need to I uh, use JavaScript to to finalize this one section. So I go to JS file inside there. I after the this one section, this one accordion. I mean curly brackets. I'm gonna call a co. Not I'm gonna call accordions and call again for each loop. So inside there I'm gonna call sub sub content. You can write any name as you want, right? And I'm gonna just a minute I use sub co inside the parenthesis, then use equal sign and greater than sign or you can say that this way this way so inside this one section i call the subcontent dot class list dot remove and which class will remove active class All right so i'm going to show you this is accordion click on that click on that click on that so here is a very simple accordion. I've used simple JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript to make an accordion. So I hope you understood as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.